Hello, hello everyone. Welcome to my channel. It's Sean from Sean K Beauty. And today we are going to jump right into this topic. Why is my face burning, irritated, and I'm experiencing redness when it comes to using niacinamide? So we're going to tackle that, but before we get into why that is, let's talk about what it is, right? If you're new to my channel, my name is Sean. My background is microbiology. I do hope that you would like, subscribe, and share because I really do love to love you here. Um, bringing science to beauty is one of my passions because I want us to be better informed consumers. I want you to experience the luxuriousness that comes with using skincare and your cosmetics so that you can go out the door being confident with your application of your makeup, but also be confident when you come back inside when you're taking your makeup off or even if you're going out without makeup on. How can I stay confident? Because a lot of the times we realize that when our skin is compromised and it's not at its best, so is our spirit, so is our esteem. So my goal is to be here for you. So the next few weeks you will see me really targeting your questions that you've left down below in the comment section of my YouTube videos, but also the DMs that I've gotten over the past few weeks from a lot of you asking me to really bring context to a lot of ingredients that you don't know of and really to help you with alleviating some of the concerns that you have with your skincare conditions. So one of the things that I wanna get into before I get started is that I always advise seeking an esthetician and a dermatologist. Yes, I've heard a lot of you say you have had your nightmares, but there's some of you who have experienced really great experiences with your esthetician and your dermatologist. Looking up reviews and seeing who's reputable is going to be key with navigating um, through your skincare journey as well. Okay, so now with that out the way, let's talk about niacinamide. What is it really? And niacinamide is a vitamin B3, or it's called nico nicotinamide. And as you can see the molecule here, it is a water-soluble molecule that works well with most naturally occurring substances in the skin. It is known to improve the skin's barrier by strengthening it, bringing in um, that boosting effect that you're looking for as far as collagen stimulation. Um, it's great for preventing dehydrated skin, so preventing that water loss or that trans epidermal water loss that we always hear about. Niacinamide is also great for that. So if you have dry skin and you're looking to use a lot of products that are rich in, let's say, sodium hyaluronate or your sodium PCA or your glycerin, uh, using niacinamide along with that works super duper well. Now, another thing niacinamide is known to do is if you have fine lines and wrinkles, it is known to reduce the appearance of those fine lines and wrinkles. It is also one to normalize your pores. So bringing them to where they need to be and returning it to its natural state because of its normalizing ability on the pore lining. So when debris gets into your pores, it exacerbates your pores, right? Or even sun damage can exacerbate the pores. We'll hear the term orange peel skin. That's when the pores become stretched. And what niacinamide does is it works on the pore lining and returns the pores to their normal state. So that's a really good benefit there. It's also one that I like to call a watchman on the wall or a bodyguard at the gate. If you're going out into the atmosphere, into the environment, we know that there are so many environmental stressors, uh, oxidative stressors out there the moment we step outside. So using niacinamide is there as your defense against damage from the environment. However, if you're one that has already experienced the damage from the environment, niacinamide coming into your skincare routine is known to help to bring about healing and replenish the skin. So as you can see, this is the reason why we see it a lot in our lotions, in our, our serums, our eye creams, um, toners. You even see it in some eye patches. If you have hyperpigmentation, this is a really great one because it's a brightening agent as well. It is known to brighten up your hyperpigmentation and bring an evenness to the skin. 
So in previous videos, I mentioned about using niacinamide and how I had to pump the brakes. It was sent out to me courtesy of Good Molecules and it worked. Um, I nearly couldn't recognize myself and so I stopped using the niacinamide serum. So this does work. And talking about Good Molecules, you know, I'm, I did a video that's getting a lot of views on the discoloration serum from Good Molecules and you all have seen the benefit of that. However, I still say that you want to spot treat with that and patch test before doing that. Um, it has two brightening agents in it, niacinamide being one and tranexamic acid being the other. So definitely check out that video. Um, I'm not gonna go in into that one. So you've got minimizing the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles with your niacinamide. You have it reducing enlarged pores. You have it brightening your hyperpigmentation. It's fighting against the free radicals in the atmosphere and any oxidative stress that happens. Um, you know, there's a ton of benefit here. It stimulates uh, your collagen. It boosts radiance. It gets rid of the dullness that happens in the skin. It helps to prevent transepidermal water loss. So now you can see why uh, dermatologists will recommend this across the board. It is great for all skin types. However, we're gonna talk about why uh, some people experience the redness, the burning, and the irritation, but I think it's important for you to actually know what this is, the benefits, because the one thing that happens is when there's inflammation happening to the skin, the first question we asked is, why did they recommend this? Why is it on the market? So I want you to understand that these are the reasons why it's on the market and this is what it's known to do predominantly. Um, all skin types. So anything that's great for all skin types, I'm a huge proponent of. The microbiomes of the face don't really care about the I'm too oily, I'm too dry bit. What they care about is products that is for all skin types because normally when a product is listed for all skin types, it's pH balanced. So just giving a little bit of context there. So what would be some of those ingredients that is complementary to using ni with niacinamide? Because I get that question a lot. Can I use it with this? Can I use it with that? So the answer is you can use niacinamide with most ingredients, most actives like your retinols, your BHAs, your AHAs, um, what else is one that we love to use? The vitamin C. Um, however, disclaimer, if you have sensitive skin, I would definitely say to do the patch testing with the vitamin C uh, niacinamide cocktail before you actually go onto the face with that, okay? And so now let's go into exactly what is going on when I'm experiencing this redness, burning, and irritation. So one of the things that I, I wanna put out here is dermatologists would tell you, and I, there's only a few products like your retinol that they would say, oh, if it's tingling, then you're fine. Um, but it has to last about three seconds, I think it is. However, do not listen to those that are telling you that when you find something burning and <laughs> it's red and it's irritated that it's working, that is a huge misnomer, okay? When your skin flares up, it is because it does not like what is being uh, put on it or what it's going through, okay? So please know that if you're in home and you're mixing cocktails and your face is like a red tomato, you have to pump the brakes on using that cocktail, I'm just saying. So here are the three possibilities of why you're experiencing that irritation, redness, and burning. One is because you're having an allergic reaction to it. It's very rare, but some people do, okay? Some people cannot use uh, niacinamide. The next thing is there may be an ingredient in that product along with the niacinamide that is causing the flare up or the irritation and you're thinking it's the niacinamide. The third thing is you're using way too much niacinamide. And for most of you ladies, 
you know that I love you, but the truth be told is they were just using way too much niacinamide. Niacinamide toner, the niacinamide serum, the niacinamide moisturizer, the niacinamide eye cream is way too much in niacinamide. If you remember, I would always teach in previous videos, and if you're new, I've always mentioned this, we have a threshold on how many actives we should be using on our face on a daily basis. The one thing that uh, dermatologists will tell you about niacinamide is that it's good enough to use twice a day, right? And every day. But again, that is only for those that are not experiencing the ag aggressive flare-ups or any kind of adverse reactions to it. So here's what to do if you're experiencing that redness and irritation. Uh, dermatologists recommend caffeine and ceramides uh, because they are less likely to cause even more of an irritation and help to bring about a calming to the skin. So if you're experiencing um, any adverse reactions to your niacinamide, one, put it down, get rid of it, it's not for you, and two, use your caffeine or your ceramide to really help to bring that calming to that inflammation. Again, I want you to be well-informed consumers that when you're picking up a product, you know exactly what it's doing. You're not picking it up because somebody has told you this is the next best thing. You're picking it up because you know exactly what that thing is, what it's going to do, and if it's going to be right for you. And even if you want to experiment with that product and you see the ingredients on the back of the, the packaging or even the back of the jar, you know what certain ingredients are doing because hopefully you watch channels like this to keep you better informed of, of ingredients. If you see 24K Gold, you all know that I'm a huge proponent of Shantakai's Gold Recovery Mask. You know what 24K Gold is going to do. If you see niacinamide, you know what it's going to do. It's going to prevent water loss. It's going to reduce the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles. It's going to brighten up your hyperpigmentation. It's going to reduce the size of your pores. You see what I'm saying? So you're going in informed. But if you know that you're allergic to it and you know that niacinamide is the culprit, you're going to put that jar down. I love you all. Be kind to yourself and to one another. Know that I'm here for you and I will consistently add value. Thank you for your encouraging words to tell me to keep going. This does my heart very well and I, I love the fact that I'm on, an, on a platform where I'm appreciated. Anyway, I'll talk to you all in my next one. Ciao for now.